daily inspections on the crane. Uh, checking the swivel hook that it moves freely, checking the rope, there's no damage to that, that it is underneath the pins. Checking the manual operation of the chandelier or the overhoist limit switch and checking that the sheaves actually move freely. Rope looks like it's going down okay. Uh, for the fly jib, checking that it is secured properly and I can see that it's coming through at the top that the pins are secure. Uh, moving around, I can see that all the sections are pulled in. We've got a light on the top there, it's not cracked. There's no visual damage to any the windscreens or any lights. Now moving around, mirrors are in good condition. Pipes, good condition, outrig is okay. No issues there, tyres look full with no, uh, no issues there. Emergency stop pushes out. The ballast is uh, set and secure. Uh, and I will check it just inside here to make sure everything is secure and the isolator is on as well. Slew ring, no issues with that. Looks well greased. Coming round, checking this wheel, making sure there's nothing protruding out of these wheels or tyres. Pipe's looking good. Outrig is looking good. Okay, ballast locks are in, which is good. Lights, no visible signs of any cracking. Outrig is good, pipes good, no leaks or no apparent leaks. Wheels good, and tyres good. Look inflated to the right level. Uh, just inside there, hydraulic levels, good and correct. Isolator switches out. Fly jib looks secure at both ends. Final tyre looks in good condition. Pipe's good. Oh, rig is good. Just a quick check underneath for any leaks. Rumor is good. Okay, good. Right, Graham, we're going to measure out for the crane. I already know the width of the crane is 2.550, so 2.6. So this is what we're going to measure out. So what I want off you is if I, I can go and get you to go down there with the tape. And what I'm going to measure out here is 17 metres. That's there. Right, Graham, if you can come back down here and just stand on that fence line, fence line for me there. That's the centre of the slew. Okay. What I need to do is just measure out and mark out this area now. So width of the crane, if you can go and put yourself on the centre of the slew. What I've got here, half of the crane width, I'm going to work on about 1.3 metres. Okay. I'm going to mark that as a T. And that's where your tyres are going to run now, Graham. Matt, whilst Graham's just setting his crane up, what we'd like you to do is get the slings out that we discussed, right. check them. I've already identified them and I've confirmed that they're all in date. So it's the two one ton flat web slings. And what we'd like you to do is double wrap and choke them on the tubes which are just sat behind there. Put a tagline on them. Any questions, give me a shout. Can I confirm your crane's set up to manufacture spec? Yep. 
Can I confirm your booms at the 26.8 meters? Yep. Okay. Um, RCI set? Yep. And you're happy with the machine? Yep. The weather, yeah. Weather? Yes. Mm. All good? Yeah. Okay. Matt's now going to sling the load. Can you just follow the signals from Matt, please? Right then, Matt, what we'll do, get tagline on, and then um, I'll assist you where needed, because obviously it's going to be in a blind location. Just be aware of the pinch points when you're bringing the crane round and lifting the load. Ready. Yep, ready? Do you want me to relay on your behalf? Right, Mike, you've finished with your slings. If you can do a post work check on these and then return them all back to the store, if you don't mind, please. James, I want to have a quick debrief. Um, very quick one. Is there anything that we could have done better? I'm happy with the way happy. things are. Happy? Yeah. Is there anything we should be reporting back to the appointed person? Not for me. Okay, can I confirm with you you're ready for road travel? Yep. Happy? Right, well done, Matt. If you can stay out of the way, Graham, I'll escort you off site. Mm -hmm. 